Being a lesbian does not mean I want to be a man. It does not mean I hate men. Well, it just means that I am a woman who is happy being attracted to other women. Sapphic refers to a woman or a woman-aligned person of any sexual orientation who is attracted to other women and or woman-aligned individuals. You might be wondering, what's the difference between sapphic and lesbian? The sapphic definition is broader than that of lesbian because it encompasses more gender identities. This includes people who aren't lesbians, like bi, pan, omni, and polysexual people. While lesbian refers to two women who are attracted to each other, sapphic can refer to any person who identifies as female and is attracted to other women, so a non-binary person who is attracted to women might identify as sapphic but not lesbian. Neptunic Pride Flag Neptunic is described as the attraction to women and non-men aligned non-binary individuals, or all except men man aligned. This orientation is mostly used by non-binary people to describe their attraction without relying on the gender. Binary, but can be used by anyone. Neptunic is similar to Trixic, in that it is the attraction to women and non-binary individuals. The difference is that an individual of any gender can identify as Neptunic, where Trixic is generally issued to describe the attraction of non-binary individuals. As always, keep in mind that these are just the descriptions that I have. Others may have different descriptions and reasons for identifying with or not identifying with this identity. These videos are just to help me learn and anyone else who sees these. It is not our place to put anyone into an identity that they do not want. Happy Pride A bear is a typically masculine individual who has facial hair, body hair, and weighs over 200 pounds. So what does it mean to be bisexual? Well, let me tell you. Bisexuality is when a person is not exclusively attracted to just one gender. They are attracted to both men and women. Someone who's bisexual may be in a romantic relationship with someone of the opposite gender, or they may be in a romantic relationship with someone of the same gender. They may, throughout their lifetime, be in relationships with the opposite gender one time and then the same gender a different time. Or they may only ever be in relationships with the same gender. Or they may only ever be in relationships with the opposite gender. That does not discredit their sexuality of being attracted to both men and women. If there are any questions, go ahead, drop them in the comments. Remember to like and follow for weekly videos all about sexual health. Transgender. Some people feel that their gender does not match their assigned sex. For example, someone who is assigned male as a baby, but as they grow older, identifies as female. People who feel this way will often describe themselves as transgender. A transgender person may feel that their body or appearance doesn't match up with their gender or how they feel about themselves. And they may want to make changes in order to make them feel more comfortable. Changes such as their name, clothes, pronouns or hairstyle. However, not all transgender people will make changes because not all transgender people have the same experience. Let's talk about the word transsexual because some of y'all have no idea what it means and have this weird preconception that it's like a slur of some sort. So let me be here to educate you. And before you call my bullshit, I'm studying gender and women's studies, so I actually know what I'm talking about. 
Transsexual is a word that is used to describe trans people who have, will, or are undergoing medical transitioning of any sort or kind. It's not an outdated term to describe trans people. It's a specific category of trans people, okay? Now the word transsexual can give a lot of people a ton of gender euphoria because it's like, I'm coming, for me at least, it gives me a ton of gender euphoria. I love my transsexual body. I love it, I love it, I love it. It is so unique from any other transsexual's body. It's so unique from any cis person's body. Like being a transsexual has such an independent value going to force the label transsexual on anybody because obviously forcing labels is stupid. I'm not someone who's going to police identities or labels or tell you what you can or cannot call yourself or what you're coming But what I can tell you is that transsexual is not a word that should be weaponized against people. It's not a slur and it is not something that you should shame other people for using, especially to describe themselves. And the only reason I'm making this video is because one of my mutuals, someone commented on their video where they referred to themselves as a transsexual and said using that word in 2023 is crazy. And I'm like, clearly you are like 13 and uneducated. So before you start policing other people's identities or terms that they call themselves, why don't you read some trans literature, read some college level literature, and then get back to me on what vocabulary is okay and not okay to use. And if you want specific book recommendations, I would recommend Second Skins by Jay Prosser. It's all about transsexual narratives and the origination of the term transsexual, how that fits into society, trans literature, all of that jazz. Wait, what is intersex? So there is biologically a third gender. It's always fascinating because people are like, there's two genders and facts don't care about your feelings. No, there are three and there are three biological sexes. Male, female, and intersex. Male is an X and a Y chromosome. Female is two X chromosomes. Intersex, it's a weird combination. I shouldn't say weird. I should say it's an unusual combination. It's a genetic mutation that occurs where you have an XXY chromosome or an XYX chromosome. And this sometimes causes you to present as both male and female, but regardless, on a DNA level, you are in between male and female. XYX, XXY, you're intersex. Now, of course, then people get into the comment section and they get really pressed because people don't like being wrong. And they go, well, no, that's a mutation. That's not actually. Yeah, well, red hair is also a genetic mutation. Red hair is still a color. We don't say there's blonde, brunette, and a genetic mutation. We just say there's another hair color. And just like that, and just like that, we have a factual basis for saying that, yep, there are three biological genders of the selves. What is pansexuality? No, it isn't an attraction to kitchen utensils, but it's more about liking the person than their gender. It is similar to bisexual, which is the attraction to men and women. Bisexuality can mean different things to different people, and one bisexual person may define their sexuality differently to another. Some may only be attracted to males and females, whereas others are also attracted to non-binary people. This is where pansexual comes in. Pansexuality is attraction regardless of gender. Many say their attraction comes from personality over physicality, so they can be attracted to male, female, non-binary, or any gender. Just because pansexual people are not limited in sexual choice, it doesn't mean they're attracted to everyone. For example, a heterosexual male isn't attracted to every single female he meets, and vice versa. You get the gist. Does that make sense? Happy Pansexual Awareness Day. Hey, do you know what the plus represents in LGBTQ+. One of the many identities is omnisexual. Omnisexuality is the attraction to people of all genders, wherein gender plays a role in their attraction. This could be a preference or recognition that the attraction feels different depending on gender. The main distinction between pansexuality and omnisexuality is that pansexuality is often referred to as being gender blind, where gender doesn't really play a role in their attraction. As omnisexual people typically do recognize the gender of those they're interested in, letting it play a part in their attraction. Some omnisexual people may be more attracted to certain genders, but that's not always the case. 
What is gender fluid? Gender fluid is a gender identity that fluctuates between or outside of the gender binary. You know, like man and woman. Gender fluidity is represented by the gender fluid flag created in 2012 by JJ Poole. The blue stands for masculine gender, pink for feminine gender, purple for both genders, black for neither gender, and white for all genders. Gender fluid people, like myself, experience different gender identities at different times, so it's always important to ask us what our pronouns are to show us respect. Follow for more. LGBTQ gender identity terms that you might not have heard of before, but I will explain to you. What is gender fawn? Someone who is gender fawn experiences fluctuations in gender, but never fluctuates to any feminine gender. For example, they could fluctuate from feeling a masculine gender, an unaligned gender, or a genderless gender, such as agender, um, but they never fluctuate to any feminine genders, such as demigirl, female, anything in between that, like Libra feminine. Some people consider it to be a non-feminine subset of gender fluid, so you just fluctuate to everything apart from feeling feminine. This is the other side of gender fey, which I explained in a previous video. Now, just like gender fey, there is a subset to this which is called gender fornit. Someone who is gender fornit experiences fluctuations in gender and can experience feminine genders, but never feels fully female. This is the opposite to gender fey. Here's a short paragraph describing it. You can pause the video. So girl flux is like um, your femaleness fluctuates in intensity. It's kind of on this scale from a gender to female. Um, some girl flux people never feel fully a gender or fully female. Um, some do. Um, so it's just but like kind of move. So it it is similar to gender fluid. Um, yeah. Are you tired of me yet? I'm a little sick right now, but I swear When I'm ready, I will fly us out of air Pride flag meanings in 30 seconds or less. A gender is an identity to describe someone that entirely lacks a gender or with complete genderlessness. It falls under the non-binary umbrella in which one is not male, female, neutral, or any other gender. They may identify most strongly as just an individual rather than as any given gender. Since it is a lack of gender, some feel it shouldn't be labeled as a gender at all. Others see the label a gender as a declaration that they are whole without a gender. A gender people can be of any sexuality and should not be confused with being asexual.